Hi everyone, <clears throat> I've just come to share with you um, a journal that I've completed. Um, this little baby took me ages to make. Oh, I've just wobbled the camera. Okay, um, this took me five days to make this. Um, I thought I would actually have it done over the weekend, but <clears throat> my allergies were really bad and I felt absolutely rubbish, um, so I didn't get around to finishing it. Um, it's a... Oh, I can't even remember how, what the sizes are. Hang on a second. It is um, just over eight inches by five and a half inches. It's a clasp envelope. Um, I did have to cut it down just a little bit. There's two signatures. Love all that eyelash trim. Um, seam binding, which... For those of you on the junk journal junkies, I did seem uh, I did um, ink it up with um, some walnut stain. Uh, this lace here I got from Hermelinda, so thank you so much. Um, the journal I've used various, well actually I've used different ephemera from different people, but the papers are um, mainly from Dreams etc. And it's um, the Jane's journal and simply Jane. Um, so I will go ahead and flip through. Um, and if I feel that there's anything that I need to tell you, I will. Um, so inside here, um, I've just left this blank so you can write notes on. And this little bit of trim here I got from uh, Jennifer, which I just received at the weekend. So thank you. All the papers have been, um, I can't remember if these were tea dyed or coffee dyed. And I've just put some tickets and some flowers here. Journaling card. Uh, a little flip there with some tags and journaling cards. This, this one here is from Tsunami Rose. And this again I think is from Dreams Etc. But I think it's one of the other kits, like the Love story or something like that um, large tag this um, pocket is made out of a one of the long envelopes which we call here in the UK a DL sized envelope <clears throat> um, I've done the three um, pockets here with tags inside these are just um, just coffee dyed and some stamping um, an altered paper clip and I've just um, tied a little ball with the eyelash trim and um, just added a tag on the back of the paper clip there belly band um, butterflies got some bling on there uh, used up some scraps from oh, sweet Paris or something like that um, paper so by duck craft I think it is um, and this is from Dreams Etc as well and it was just uh, smaller pieces that I had so I just made it into like a little booklet <coughs> journaling spot um, oh this is from uh, oh my brain is mush um, Marion Smith um, and I just added that onto some uh, book page and done some stamping on all these tags uh, this just flips up. You can either add a photo, some journaling, or add a photo here. But I really do like this paper. It's very, um, very soft um, and shabby looking. Uh, in the centre, which is just a little bit stuck. There we go. Um, just some hearts to tidy that off. This is a Prima journaling card. Another um, envelope pocket. Uh, this is a dictionary page pocket and I just added some lace and some pearl and um, this little love heart thing which I actually got whoops, from... Uh, I think it was the range um, that comes like that. So I used that. Another tag. 
here we've got three um, three journaling cards tags. Uh, this is just a large journaling card. Could write on there and add a photo of there. There is plenty of places to journal. This is um, a paper bag which I've just folded to make a three uh, three tuck pocket. That's the first signature. Another journaling card. A lot of it does repeat itself, um, just the tags are different. Use quite a lot of tickets because I have about a million of them. Um, Crafty Irina sent me <coughs> I, loads of them and I think um, I've got more than enough to last two lifetimes, <laughs> which is great. Because um, they really, you can use them in so many different ways. Here are just um, half a doily and a um, like a crocheted butterfly that um, Melanie Barnes had sent me. And it's a large journaling card with some stamping on the back. Another pocket, large tag. Another altered paper clip. Another tag on the back, another three um, three pocket page. They're just plain coffee dyes, and again, just tidied this up with some punched out hearts. Love some of the coffee dyeing. <clears throat> what I done with these was I sprayed them, um, sprayed them up, and just left them to dry naturally, and they come out really nice. Another little flip so you can add a photo or journal. Um, this was actually, um, I got these from, I think it was the pan shop. Um, they're just postcards and I thought, <clears throat> I don't particularly like this part, but I thought I know I can use them somehow. So I just kind of put that on there and border punched the bottom. And they're just blank on the back. So... And obviously the, you get 50 for a pound. And they're nice and sturdy. Another two tags. Lots of places to journal. Another one of these um, uh, paper bags. Just like so on a butterfly. And this is just one of these little booklets again. I just inked up, and you can journal inside that. Um, I will no doubt be listing this on my Etsy, and I'm actually going to I've just printed everything off to make another one. Um, I really enjoyed using this paper, um, so I'm stretching around the tripod. Um, yes, yeah, so I'm going to make another one of these, well, similar to this, not identical. So there we have it, I think, no, nope, one more page, oh, a few more little bits, and this here is just, I um, I just folded that over, I glued it there, and you, that's another tuck spot, so you can pop something inside there, and that is the back. So, I um, hope you like it, because it took me ages to make. <laughs> <sighs> I know when I put on um, Facebook, the Facebook group, it took me five days. They were like, everybody thinks I'd make these super quick, but five days to me is like way too long. I could have made three by in that time. Um, I do like to kind of knock these journals out when I can, but I have been quite busy over the last few weeks. Um, and I have got a few, two other journals that I have finished that I need to video as well. Um, so... 
all the links will be below um the etsy um link will be below as well i'm not sure if that will be on here tonight or not um because i want to crack on and get another journal started um so maybe tomorrow it'll be on etsy so if you've got any questions just ask and thanks for watching bye